It's a beautiful day today out in the garden. I think that beauty can only be appreciated with sincerity. Now, I wanted to... I kind of regret doing this even. I won't mention this person by name. But... I think when you th see life through an ironic gaze, to put it lightly, when you see that life... Oh, here's Benito. Where are you, Benito? There you are. Come here, Benito. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyways, it's supposed to be serious here. Last night, this person... Um, let's call him the thinker of ironies. The th I love that term, by the way. Shout out to my boy Marcus. He saw fit to screen cap a joke tweet from me and send his new uh, friends, his new jannies, his new Pepe Goose, uh, comprised mostly of uh, Marxoid, like irony left Chapo tists. I, I guess they pay him money now, I don't know. Because he's basically burned through the good graces of everybody that he's that made him what he is or did and he thinks that's fine because apparently we're all evil terrible people and it's what it is I don't abide by turncoats because they're the worst people they're they're um their soul is never at peace it's the same when I uh when I was young there was this uh Canadian talk show host his name was Michael Corrin and um he was the same he was the voice of social conservatism in Canada and he uh basically made a 180 literally in the span of a month I guess he was tired of people in the Toronto Star uh, calling him evil names you know like homophobe or whatever but it doesn't matter so I guess that has informed my view on people like that but that's fine to have a change of worldview but let's say that the thinker of ironies last year I was one of the only people to have regular communication with him and to tell him straight out not lie to him that you have to stop you have to stop feeding into trolls you have to stop even if it's painful, you have to calm things down. Because I see that he wasn't going to win. Against another person. Who people might get hazard to guess. When I say vitalist bodybuilder, you know who I'm talking about. But the thinker of irony is he couldn't let it go. And I begged him. I literally begged him. To stop. But he wouldn't. Because he doesn't respect people enough apart from like maybe one person you know who that person is he doesn't respect people around him enough to tell him right from wrong to tell him that he is spiraling so apparently I was my advice wasn't and I told this person right off the bat the thinker of ironies I told him I'm not going to be your Janny I Janny for no one I don't clean it up for anybody but that's what he expects of people because when you don't have a consistent worldview, when you don't have a consistent picture of the real, when you don't have convictions within your soul, you treat people as instrumentalized objects. Because people, because you project out onto the world that everybody is like yourself. Everybody is just a vague abstraction. Some kind of abstraction. There's nothing, you know, the whole... Um, Brett Easton Ellis, uh, American Psycho Dialogue, you know the one, monologue, you know the one. Um, so, I, it took as little as liking a tweet from someone critical of one of his real friends, who was in this person's film together, that he claims he did everything on, and yada yada yada, whatever, this is old drama, everybody knows which film I'm referring to. Uh... The person in question came back to Twitter briefly and said that, Oh, no, I'm not far right. I, I just cultivated a right-wing audience for years. 
But no, actually, I hate all those people. And the FBI knocked at my door. And oh, by the way, guys, now I'm a, uh, let's call it cultural Brahmin. Uh, transition, if you know what I mean. So, it, it, it only took liking a, tweet, a reply tweet to this long schizo um, text, to screen cap text saying that I hate all of you people and that I never was one of you and blah, 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 you know, and, and now I'm transitioning because the FBI paid me a visit. So um, that's the type of people that the Thinker of Ironies thinks is uh, more worthy of his ear. And uh, so now recently he decided to screen cap a joke tweet of mine. And I held back, you know, because people were screen capping these long schizophrenic DMs that he would post to people about, you're evil, you're being paid off, um, <laughs> you are, uh, <laughs> you, you're consenting to evil, these people want to ruin my life, like, it's, it's ridiculous, it's, it's totally, and, and he would go on endlessly about this certain person and how he wants to, uh, create some kind of bodybuilding militia on some island, and he's being paid off by Peter Thiel, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, and I chose not to attack him because I saw that he was very vulnerable at the time. But no, he thinks to, uh, and, and admittedly the tweet that I posted was kind of cringe, obviously. Um, but admit, you know, he thinks that this will gain, gain him brownie points from these irony leftists who him, who equally and probably worse than him actually, um, uh, don't have a coherent worldview. They are really parasites and worms of, of uh, the cultural discourse. They, they think that this is still some kind of like uh, ironic pastiche, some kind of uh, weird millennial hive mind of irony poisoning that the uh, John Stewart era, you know, inflicted upon us. But I will say that uh, people came to my defense and for the people like this one worm this uh, little bug man looking physiognomy guy, uh, you know, attacks me with the same photo that everyone posts from like 2015 where I didn't look my best. It's like, yeah, I know I'm fat, whatever. It's, I'm trying to change, but it's, it's just, it's, it's ironic how, oh, I, you know, that word again, see that, that word is such a bugaboo. But it's kind of like funny how the same people go on about, um, ableism and things like that but when it comes to their political enemies and nor do I expect anyone to have consistency because l the Lord knows that I have uh, even participated in attacking uh, but here's the difference being I think is that if you have this irony poisoned vaguely like leftist worldview I don't believe in nothing, man. Believing things are cringe. Then you uh, subject yourself to a, a number of, I would say, demonic influences. I mean that legitimately. Not to say that the thinker of ironies is like that. But I'm saying that you subject yourself to forces beyond your control. Because when you are inherently empty, then... Any, any old thing can come along and fill you up, if you know what I mean. And so, they really are a product of sort of this modern uh, temporary post-scarcity, like, liberal neoliberal managerialism that we live under. Because, like, literally in no time, other time in human history, maybe, like, at the decline of empires... Could you at the one end not believe in anything and at the other end be largely a product of like hyper socialization and abundance beyond anyone's wildest dreams? And it's really a shame because I remember and I deleted this now because I just really th thought better of going after the thinker of ironies in Twitter form because uh, any epic dunk I can make it doesn't matter because the people that follow him are nowadays 
have no uh, internal coherence or consistency. And uh, they're really like just bad people, in my opinion. There are a lot of uh, like, they don't have the convictions to be a tanky, but yet they'll have the hammer and sickle in their bio. Um, they are, you know, they have certain things in their bios, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyways, so this, this, uh, the thinker of ironies used to go after these people, by the way, and I screenshotted, um, tweets from a while ago where he quite eloquently deconstructed their identities, if you know what I'm referring to. But no, I mean, it wasn't worth it because honestly, uh, someone like that who doesn't realize that someone was trying to help him and then later, after, like, post falling out, chose not to, like, share DMs and go after him and all that stuff. I just, I, I, I feel, uh, I feel better, like, I feel that, um, I did, I did the right thing because he was vulnerable at the time, and, uh, but now I just, I see how sad and really pathetic he is, and, uh, I don't, I don't harbor any ill will towards him, but I just think it's kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying that I have to deal, like, I have to lock my account and deal with, like, certain, oh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. There you go, buddy. I think it's kind of annoying that I have to deal with people and my replies, you know, with their epic dunks. With whatever, right? It's just... <laughs> I find it hilarious. I mean, the reality is, like, I'm not gonna, like, BS people. I do find it, like, tedious and annoying. I do think it's sad. And yeah, okay, whatever, my tweet was cringe, but it's like, you know, these people, they say, this is the gayest tweet ever. It's like, it's a t typical, like, come town. Uh, I mean, I do appreciate uh, some come town myself, but it's like that typical, like, chapo, like, dirtbag left. Oh, I can call you gay and, and f -slur and blah, 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 but it's like, I still have the regime proof belief, so therefore I'm shielded, you know. I think that's, I think like maybe under the later years of Trump, perhaps the thinker of ironies, he saw the way the wind was blowing. Uh, I don't know, I, I can't speculate, but. I, I, one last thing I'll say is that I, I legitimately defended this person in public. I told people that it's wrong to make up lies about him, it's wrong to troll him, it's wrong to even call him fat. Because th the reality is, is that I'm way fatter than the thinker of ironies, you know. But it's just, uh, it's been a while since I wanted, and this current happening just motivated me to, um, to speak my piece. Oop, oop, there you go, there you go, Benio. <laughs> there you go. Um, I was, I'm honestly, the only thing I really care about is just, uh, my ability to, um, connect to people. I think my account is safe, but, you know, I'll, uh, I know that people, ha true people have my back. And it's like, honestly, I don't, I try not to tweet things that are the, you know, too bannable. I use a lot of OPSEC, uh, language, you know. But, uh. I, I just, it's upsetting. It's upsetting how people are like this. It's upsetting that people do not take the advice of others. It's upsetting how you view people as a mass that is either for or against you. And that even though, because the reality is, is that and I'll, I said this to him and to his face, actually, I said that I'm not going to be a Janny, and I'm not going to attack people needlessly, because it's not going to go well for me, and it's not going to go well for you. Now, I've criticized people, I've defended him, but the difference between that and actually, like, going after someone, because it's like, he's my enemy, now he's your enemy. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm just going to, like, renege on the friendships I have with, let's call them the vitalist bodybuilders. Um, and I'm going to, like, solely invest in this person. Like, it's, uh, 
it's 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 insane like i have i have mutuals and i have friends that are friends of people that i don't particularly like you know it's do i demand like absolute loyalty to the point of uh to the point of like welching on other people or demanding that they uh janny for me and clean it up no of course not because even like i even i'm even uncomfortable with people that would janny for me like i i would i'm not everyone that i've ever um you know whatever following i may have i mean even just these terms are kind of you know whatever uh everyone knows that they're free and open to criticize me and i you know sometimes quite harshly but it's like you know you argue about it and you uh come to an agreement sometimes but this whole like need and compulsion to want people to surround yourself with people that have nothing but absolute fealty towards you and absolute deference I think that pretty much shows what type of character you are. If in your relentless quest to become an e-celeb and clout chase, you burn people that once supported you but have some sort of mild criticism or constructive criticism, to me that's not living. That's a soul that is never at peace. And as perhaps as unsincere as this sounds, I do wish well the thinker of ironies and I do wish that someday he finds peace. However, the people that follow him, I don't wish them well. The people that are in my mansions. Uh, I think that y all of you people have been given over to a reprobate mind. And uh, you may not think it, but your soul is disquieted. Because you have no convictions in life. And that means you will amount to nothing. And so in a way I'm not upset. I was last night, but I'm not upset at these, you know, ankle biters. Because people have always said that whatever I post, whatever I write, whatever I make is sincere. And... Oh, oh, that's another thing before I go, is that every time one of these uh, leftoid ironists come at me, they always uh, seem to go after my artwork. I don't know why. Maybe. And yeah, it's like I know the memes are cringe or whatever, but I mean, there's a purpose behind them. But I just find it funny how when it's not attacking my physical appearance, it's attacking my artwork. It's like, what? what am I going to say? It's like... You know, it's these are the same, well, not exactly the same, because, of course, they know nothing about, you know, genuine art history. But these are the same people that uh, support the various deconstructions in the, in the art world. Or rather, they have to pretend that they're sophisticated enough to know about the various um, uncouplings of certain metrics of what makes fine art. But anyways, I, I'm just, I, I think it's quite funny and hilarious how they, that's like their go-to. They have nothing else. They're like, oh, your art sucks. Look at this. This is cringe. It's a meme. He made a woodblock of a meme. It's like at least, you know, when uh, my Amy Therese wood, wood, woodcut made it on uh, that certain, let's call it femme cell forum. Uh, it's like, you know, at least they were like, oh, this is stupid. But they, they weren't like, you know. One in person I think said, well, I can't believe you wasted his skill on this. Which is like, honestly, that's a compliment to me. But uh, these people, it's, uh, yeah. When you're shielded in like several different like crumple zones of irony, then I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, I've ranted long enough and uh, I hope everyone has a blessed day. And uh, as always, um... Like I said, I, I do, I wish no ill will towards the thinker of ironies. I just, I think it's just, you know, a kind of a, just a, a wrong move. Um, it's like, you know, 
I, I chose not to attack him as viciously as I could have. When everyone, literally everybody, was united in their hatred against him. Um, I thought that I was being the better man. But obviously I kind of was wrong, right? But I should have trusted my instincts. But anyways, everyone, have a blessed day. God bless and goodbye.